G'day guys, Butcher Benny T here with another video for you. Uh, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. I'm actually going to I'm going to cut this up. This is a four quarter of lamb, but it's going to be a bit of a roast with a difference. So I'm going to cut him up and I'm going to prep it and I'm going to show you how I how I cook it. Um, just I like the bone in me roast, but a lot of people don't like the bone because it's hard to cut around. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut these into four quarter chops. I'm going to marinate it. Then I'm going to put string around it, and it's going to be slow roasted, just in a just in a little um, smoke oven without the smoke. So I'll cut the barbecue chops first. So just as I normally would, take the legs off. Just taking those few barbecue chops off. Um, the reason being, I've, you would have seen me glance over to the left, just making sure it's going to fit in the in the little roasting dish I've got. So I've taken three of those off. I'll keep those as barbecue chops when I cut the rest of it up, which I'm not going to do in this video. But I'll cut this one up and we'll marinate him up, and I'll show you. Just cut that, you can see there's a gland in there on either side, because I'm going to cook the whole lot. So I'll take that gland out, get rid of that. That one there. Sit that back how it's been cut. That's how we want it. Now what I'm going to do, just so I don't get stuff everywhere, because I'm going to marinate this, I'll sit this bag down. I'll sit that on there. And what I've got, I've got a, a rosemary mint glaze. That's a dry marinade, but the moisture in the meat will turn it into the marinade. So I'll put a bit on that. Then all I'm gonna do is every one of these. So we'll go along, put, them, put all these chops in it. You can see I'm, I'm coating the whole lot. If you wanted to, sometimes it's a good idea to wear gloves. You can see it's going to get all over the hands, but that's all right. Just dip them all in. Like that. Putting this plastic under, it's just going to save. This stuff will stain the bench. And I have got a few more lambs to cut up after this, so... I don't want it. You can see, I'll show you in the next one, there's still a fair bit of fat on that. I'm going to leave that because because it's a slow, because I'm slow cooking this, you really want the fat there to, to keep, the, keep the moisture. So that's the reason I haven't trimmed any fat off. And fat is flavour, so. Just keep going with those. Last one. Like that. Now what I'm going to do, they're all marinated in between now. Just sit them up there. I'm going to grab this string. Sit the string there. It might be easier to sit the string and then lift them over the top if the string wants to stay there. That there. Keep our normal butcher's knot that we always use. Like 
The string doesn't have to be overly tight, it's just got to, we're only trying to hold them together. You can see I'm only using the little string. Like that. Nip that off. And two strings will probably, we'll probably get away with two strings on this. I think. We'll have a look once we get this second one on and see what it's doing. There. There. Get that to that side. And they should pull in. Like that. Like that. So they're all held together now. You can see that's all nice and tight. What I'm going to do now, we've got the rest of this marinade in. Spring, put some more on the bottom here. That's, I'm just going to do it in a um, throwaway roasting dish because marinade makes a bloody mess. So I'd sooner do that, make it, and chuck it. Spin him over. Like that. Another handful. Just rub that in there. In there. Now what, what you could do, put the moisture in the meat, should turn this into a good marinade. So, I'm just going to leave that. Um, and that marinade will turn, turn, um, turn into a wet marinade over a little bit of time. So, I'm going to let that sit now. I'll sit it in the fridge, let that sit for a couple of hours, let that soak in. Then I'll come back and we'll, and we'll chuck it in the oven and I'll show you that part of it. So, um, sit back, I'll be back shortly. Cheers. Righto guys, so I've had this in the, in the fridge for about two and a half hours. It's been enough time for the marinade to, to um, go in and actually turn into a marinade because as you, as you saw it started dry like that. And now once it's been on there, it's a wet marinade. So, um, I'm going to now, I'm going to cook it in this. This is only a cheapie. Um, Done a good job. I prefer these sort of things to fan forced um, ovens. You're gonna put it in here for about three hours and cook it nice and slow on about 140, 150 degrees Celsius. Um, so I'll whack it in now. As you can see, pretty basic setup. I'll put him about two thirds of the way up. We'll get that, get that cooking. I'll, I'll check on it a couple of times. Um, while it's cooking, but I'll come back to you once it's finished in about three hours and I'll show you how, how well it comes out and how easy it pulls apart. So I'll see you shortly. Right guys, we're back here. Um, it's nearly tea time. This has been in, in here for three hours and 45 minutes, so it's a little bit longer. Um, so I'll open up the door and we'll have a bit of a squiz and see how it's come up. You can see there, it's just nudging 140 degrees there. So that's good. That's looking pretty good at the moment. So I'll just get him out the oven. Sit him up on this bench here. There it is, you can see all the juices in there. Shut that out the way. Pick him off. And we'll have a bit of a look, we'll cut this open. Just take these strings off, you can see that glaze is still on there. It sticks really well to the meat. Take that off. Take that one off. It smells buddy spot on. If only you could smell it. Look at the marinade in there. Just grab a fork. Try and use my fingers. And you can see that it's just falling apart. And it's bloody hot. Beautiful. There it is. So, there we have it. Different way to do a four quarter. Um, give it a go. A lot of people don't like barbecue chops and they don't like the bone in the four quarters. But if you cook this nice and slow, like I've just done, that was three hours and 45 minutes on 150 degrees. Put that glaze on it. Um, 
and use one of these little jiggers, I prefer them. I don't like the fan force, I like it to just sit and not have the air blown around it. And these are the sort of results you can get just with mixing things up. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Give it a whirl, and I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.